Black Swan Tactical, your number one source for 2A streetwear. With shirts, mugs, hats, patches, flags, and more. There's always something to help you rep the 2A community. All proceeds go back into our projects. Viewers and listeners can take an additional 10% off with code CRUMPY. Unapologetically pro-gun, pro-liberty, and pro-freedom gear for the front lines of the culture war. Hey everybody, Silver back here. Got one more special little treat for you. Now this gun is a Llama XV Especial, made in, I think this one was 1966. Now this is a Spanish made gun. Um, you know, Llama did go out of uh, business and I believe there's another company that picked up the Llama line and is making some 1911s under the Llama labeling uh, now. But this one, however, comes from the original factory over in Spain. It says, uh, now forgive my uh, Span Spanglish here, <laughs> is Gabliendo. Uh, Victoria Espana. All right, now this is a little 22 1911. Even has the back strap safety, the thumb safety, everything the same that a regular 1911 has. Now the internal workings are a little different. Um, for the most part, they're the same. Just has fewer pieces uh, than a regular 1911, like a full size one. So. Now, I've taken this one apart as well. Now, this belongs to the same friend that I did the other two firearms for that you've seen in my other past videos here. So, um, I've taken this apart, cleaned it all up, put it back together. Uh, when he first brought it to me, we were having some problems with uh, failure to feed, uh, failure to extract. Uh, now that I've polished up the feed ramp, cleaned everything out, I'm still having a little problem with the extraction, but that was just on the, the cycling portion of the functioning test. As far as function goes, everything else works. So there's the hammer drop. I know you shouldn't dry fire a 22. Um, safety. Uh, take that safety off. Back strap safety. Bang, everything's good. So. What we're going to do is we're going to load up a magazine and we're going to test fire this thing to see if during test firing it's still having the same extractor issues that it was during the function testing or the cycling test. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking personally that either the notch for the extractor on this is not cut out deep enough to go in and grab those all the way um, or either that it relies a little bit on the blowback to push the 22 casing out enough for the extractor to grab it so you know we'll run some rounds through it and see how it works now these firearms were notorious for having issues um, from what I've read as I did some research on them as well as you know getting some diagrams and stuff on all the parts and pieces so that way I could work on this firearm. Uh, it's an interesting cool little piece. Um, not really worth much <laughs> uh, but it's it's still fun. It's a, a nice conversation piece and if it works it's a cool little planker. So let's load it up and get shooting and see what happens. All right here we are. So let's uh I didn't load the magazine all the way, I left a couple out, just because. Alright, so, fed, no problem. Alright, and extractor issue. So let's drop the magazine. Alright, I know the magazine was a little funky as well in there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Stove piping. Yep. Now it just doesn't want to uh, put them in the chamber properly. So, uh, could be the magazine. A lot of people said the magazines were always a little funky. Let's help it in there and see what we get. 
you get absolutely nothing. Seems to be all that we're doing is... Oh! <laughs> Bending bullets. There we go. And... Drop the magazine. It extracted the bullet, just didn't feed another one. You're sorry, it extracted the case. <laughs> All right, it fed. All right, stovepipe. All right, now we got, I guess, the feeding issues out of the way. So it's extracting no problem. So now the rest must be in this magazine. Yeah, it's extracting just fine. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Figures. Last two rounds works like butter. Let's reload and see what we get from there. All right, so I only put eight rounds in. I believe this holds like nine or ten, but we're not going to stack it all the way just because of some of the issues we've been having already. <clears throat> all right, stovepipe issue. Another stovepipe issue. Now we're no longer having extractor problems, but we're having other problems. Alright, we'll forget about that bullet as it hit the dirt. Alright. Don't I like feeding properly. Again. Either we're having some light primer strike issues. Yeah. All right. Trying to handle this thing as safely as I can, but you know. Firearms have issues. <laughs> All right, that one fed, no problem. And again, no luck on the strike. Let's try another round. All right, we locked back. Yep, we locked back. And we still have one round left. <laughs> Accurate little gun. I mean, it's a 1911 style gun. And it's easy to shoot. Um, <laughs> if you can get it to shoot. <laughs> now, I did clean this magazine also. Took it apart and cleaned it up and put it back together the correct way. Because somebody had it together the wrong way. Uh, so I put it back together the correct way. Um, but the magazines are also a known issue with these as well. So they have an aftermarket magazine out there. I'm going to recommend my friend get for this um, if they intend on using it. I think, uh, you know, we're uh, starting to get somewhere with it. Okay, there was nothing in there. Pipey issue. So that tells me that it is a magazine problem. And again, it keeps locking back on the last round while there's still one in the magazine. And it's not even all the way locked back. It's like a half ass locked back. I would have to, uh, you know, just give it a little pull and push that up there a little bit to put it in full lock. I think we've gotten rid of some of the other issues now there's just some other underlying issues I think that are just known problems with this firearm to begin with anyway so and even 
again on an empty magazine it's still that half-ass lock uh, right there I mean I lube this thing up very well so I know pieces and parts are moving freely you know, and that's not an issue so let's load up one more mag and I think that's gonna be the final run that we do with this guy today okay so nine is a full magazine just like a regular like a nine millimeter 1911 would hold about nine rounds eight or nine rounds this one holds nine rounds of 22 long rifle now it is a fun little gun it is cool i do like the fact that it's a, a 22 1911 it's very compact but yet it still fits okay in the hand um still feels pretty good it's a little small my pinky does hang off a little bit uh no big deal um it's all these other issues that are taking the fun away from the gun <laughs> like that right there okay so it was uh it extracted and fed but it started to fly out past the uh <laughs> the chamber <laughs> so <laughs> um maybe i polished the, the uh feed ramp a little too good i don't know because it's not feeding directly into it so I guess we'll just have to scrape it up a little bit okay more stove piping issues there we go fed no problem we still got some rounds that was a live round Hmm. Very, very strange. Definitely a magazine issue. Possibly the barrel. Um, uh, the extractor seems to be working fine during actual live fire. So I'm not worried about the magazine or the um, extractor any longer. Uh, it's just this magazine I think is the major problem with the issues now. You know, <laughs> they're fun, but they can sometimes be frustrating all at the same time. Just like women. <laughs> Don't tell my wife I said that. <laughs> all right, to prevent this video from getting any longer, now, this is the kind of thing I have fun with is these problem children. Um, and, it interests me to no end to try to solve these problems with these types of firearms. Um, and I believe I'm on a good track. Uh, I think I took care of the feed ramp. Uh, the extractor's working fine now. It's just one of those kind of guns. I mean, there's always issues with some 22s. Not every 22 runs flawlessly. Um, <clears throat> and these have also been known to have these types of issues right along, at least from the research I have done on these guns. Now, again, this is the Llama XV Especial 22 Long Rifle. Um, pretty sweet. I do like it. Uh, just a little, little tiny cute guy. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have fun.